It's no secret that seafood is one of the most sustainable foods we can eat, but it's possible that you're actually not eating very sustainable seafood at all. The problem is with the MSC logo, which is supposed to let you know that your fish was caught in an environmentally friendly way, but it doesn't always mean that. It turns out there are some loopholes in the system. Campaigners report incidents of the cruel practice on several certified boats, amid allegations of a flawed auditing system. Despite documented evidence, little action was taken to prevent the boats from operating under the MSC banner, nor was anyone prosecuted. Are the MSC doing enough to stop shark finning on tuna vessels in the Pacific? Let's find out in this video. An independent investigation has been ordered by the Marine Stewardship Council into reports of shark finning aboard tuna vessels operating in licensed fisheries in the Pacific. The Marine Stewardship Council is an organization that certifies fisheries as sustainable under its blue tick designation. The brutal and inhumane process of removing shark fins from living sharks is known as finning. According to research published by the nonprofit organization Shark Guardian in the United Kingdom and CNS Global Consulting, a sustainable development consultant, it is alleged that it occurred on board three vessels operating in the western central Pacific. And these were certified by the Marine Stewardship Council, MSC, which administers the world's largest fishery certification program. According to official records obtained from independent observers who monitor fishery compliance and viewed by The Guardian, shark finning took place on board vessels participating in MSC-certified fisheries in both 2019 and early 2020. They reported silky sharks and a black-tipped reef shark as having DFR, which stands for discarded fins retained. This is a reference to the practice of chopping fins off of living animals and tossing their bodies overboard. According to the International Union for the Conservation of Nature, IUCN, both of these species are near-threatened with extinction. According to the findings of a study published the previous year, one-third of shark and ray species have been overfished to the point where they are nearly extinct. The charitable organization claims that despite the existence of documented evidence, virtually little action was taken to stop the vessels from operating under the MSC flag, and no one was prosecuted for their involvement in the scheme. There's not even a shred of evidence to demonstrate that the MSC was aware of the observer reports that alleged shark finning. However, the third-party certification boards of the MSC, also known as conformity assessment bodies, which inspect fisheries and examine observer reports, have a responsibility to revoke certification if shark finning is discovered or if a vessel is convicted of it. According to the Marine Stewardship Council, this obligation was enhanced in September of 2020 to mandate zero tolerance of shark finning. A spokeswoman for the MSC stated that the organization took the allegations seriously and has requested the Assurance Services International, which monitors cabs, conducted an investigation into the matter. The Marine Stewardship Council has been under pressure from various conservation groups to reform guidelines on shark finning, and as a result, it is currently proposing new criteria. Ninety marine conservation experts, organizations, and international researchers applauded the MSC's move toward zero tolerance of shark finning by requiring all catch to have fins naturally attached, FNA, without exemptions. This was done in an effort to combat the practice of shark finning. However, the Marine Stewardship Council came under fire in March 2021 when the controversial Netflix documentary Seaspiracy accused it of certifying fisheries with a high amount of bycatch. Bycatch refers to the incident in which non-target animals, like dolphins and turtles, are accidentally captured in fishing nets. The movie also claimed that MSC certification was too easy to get. The Marine Stewardship Council refuted the charges, and along with a number of other organizations, accused the filmmakers of making misleading statements. This is not true, according to the producers. But the situation of right whales demonstrates how tight a line the MSC has to walk between conservationists and the fishing industry. This has revived a heated controversy over what it indicates when a blue MSC logo is placed on a packet of seafood sold in a grocery store. It is undeniable that the presence of MSC certified fisheries along the migration route of one of the world's most critically endangered species has become symptomatic of the inconsistencies that the organization needs to address. Even the death of a single whale per year pushes the species one step closer to extinction. The previous year saw the discovery of two right whales in the Gulf of St. Lawrence that had become entangled in fishing gear. One of them, a female, was found entangled off of Cape Cod in 2017, but rescuers were unable to fully release her. The other one, a male, is believed to have become entangled in the Gulf of Mexico. Only 356 North Atlantic right whales are still alive today, despite having been hunted to the brink of extinction prior to a partial ban on whaling being enacted in 1935. 
As a result, their conservation status has been downgraded to critical. The primary danger is still posed by humans, specifically entanglement in fishing gear and collisions with ships. As part of their week-long campaign to raise awareness about the factors that contribute to ocean degradation, the members of Ocean Rebellion presented the Marine Stewardship Council with a gift. This campaign focused on highlighting the role that corrupt and destructive industrial fishing plays. The gift was delivered by a unique delivery service and was concealed within the briefcases of three fish-headed greenwash detectives. They have a strong suspicion that the MSC has deceived the general public by labeling fish with symbols indicating that they were taken in a sustainable manner. As evidence of this blatant falsehood, they brought in several of these fish complete with their internal organs. Their briefcases had the labels MSC Certified Lies and War on Fish, each of which served as a witness to the operations of the MSC. A last case that had proof of all of the bottom trawlers the MSC has certified was labeled Ecocide, which is an accurate term for the industrial fishing tactics supported by MSC certification. On its labeling, the Marine Stewardship Council does not differentiate between industrial fishing methods and artisan fishing methods, even though it certifies all fishing methods as environmentally friendly and sustainable. Ocean Rebellion has demanded that the MSC stop deceiving people who purchase in supermarkets. They're demanding that the truth be revealed about the destruction that bottom trawling and other forms of industrial fishing cause to marine life and the seafloor. In addition, the Marine Stewardship Council makes it possible for its members to receive their certification by having them pay a fee to join the organization. Ocean Rebellion has announced that this constitutes an obvious conflict of interest, which renders any certification provided by the MSC null and void. Fish items with the MSC mark have been recommended to be avoided until the MSC can get alternative funding. Sophie Miller of Ocean Rebellion said, We demand that the Marine Stewardship Council tells the truth about destructive fishing methods and immediately stops greenwashing the industry with sustainability lies. Rob Higgs added, The MSC must tell the truth about the depletion of the oceans. Many fish populations are close to extinction. Even the government terminology of calling them fish stocks and describing them as not yet fully fished implies an industrial perspective on something that we should be looking to protect as if our lives depended on it, because they do. The MSC argues that it's impossible for them to incorrectly deem something sustainable when they use science and data to evaluate scores. However, we do think that data and science can be inherently biased and influenced by outside factors, so we're not sure this is enough of an argument. The question remains, how sustainable can something ever be when the demand is this huge and multinational? For us, we are wary to trust anything implemented on such a massive scale over small-scale localized businesses. That doesn't mean the MSC is inherently unsustainable. In point of fact, Planet Proof asks the MSC and all other certification bodies to go further and propose a stop of industrial fishing until the situation of global ocean fish stocks is known for sure, with any fisherfolk harmed by the suspension receiving compensation from their respective governments. This request is made to the MSC as well as to all other certification authorities. So what steps can you take to assist with this matter? We ask that you please share this video in order to bring attention to the plight of wildlife and the state of the environment in countries all over the world. Well, that's it from this video. What do you think of the unsustainable practices of MSC? Share your thoughts by commenting below. If you enjoyed this video, hit like and share this video with your friends to help spread awareness. Also, consider subscribing to our channel for more interesting videos every week.